So the reason why I'm making this video, I've seen a woman post on this on Facebook and also her husband's in the defense forces. Um, basically he's serving out of Lebanon now on peacekeeping missions, obviously it's the Irish Army do. Um, there's 400 men over there, 400 men and women of the Irish defense forces over there. And guess what? They can't come back home. They were supposed to come back home but apparently the, the EU said no and the Irish government said no because they could have the coronavirus and we just leave them over there. How about that? Um, even though we let people come in from Bulgaria. The pick, um, what was it? <laughs> I can't remember what even it was. Um, what was it again? I can't remember, but they let a few Bulgarians in come in from Bulgaria. Um, and apparently, you know, we can't let those members of the Defence Forces come back to see their families um, and onto Irish soil again. And obviously, them men are needed, um, you know, for the fight against this coronavirus. Um, and it just goes to show you where is the government's priority in bringing people in from other countries? When there is a huge unemployment rate, and I'm sure they got a few people, if the government would give them a few pounds extra, you know, would want to go out and pick a few, uh, whatever it is, cherry, what was it, strawberries, strawberries, yeah, um, in the, you know, want to pick a few strawberries, I'm sure you've got to be a few young people, be like, straight away, I want to get out of my house, you know, I'll do it for a few bob. You know, there'd be a few young people like myself here, not, well, I wouldn't do it, let me tell you that, um, but they would want to go out, there's a few people who aren't open, and a few people who aren't loud, and a few people who aren't... Even Calvin, I know a few young people would love to go out and do that and get a few bob, get out of the house for a while um, and get a few bob for go out and maybe go out disco in the end of the year. Um, with it. You know, there'd be a few people that love to do that. And there'd be a few people that would love to have a few pounds extra in their pocket. Um, but no, no, no. They want to bring Bulgarians in and people from Bulgaria in. Um, and they won't bring the defence forces. So they won't bring these men and women home who were there for God knows how long to been there. Um, and they're just leaving them over there, and that's just the thing, and this is the thing about it. You know, these are men, these are people who serve in, uh, serve in Ireland abroad, um, and we're, you know, we're setting Ireland abroad, and you know, we're just, I feel like we're abandoning them. Simple as that, I might just say it straight, we're more or less prioritising people from other countries to come in, and we're abandoning the defence forces over there. Obviously, you know, they don't have it, and they might just say it straight, they don't have it, because I don't think Lebanon's that badly affected compared to Bulgaria, compared to European countries. Um, but it's just the it's just the principle. I'm sure people don't understand. Like I'm sure any other country, if this is America or anything like that, America banned all immigrants coming in, um, which is rightly so. Which is rightly so, um, because if there's a pandemic going on, you can't let people just wander into your country at any stage. And I'm sure to God, if there was troops, you know, stationed, let's say, in um, Japan, there's a few bases, American army bases in Japan, um, and they were supposed to come home. There were supposed to be more troops uh, to um, take over from them. You know, I'm sure you know, sure they will prioritise that um, and bring them home and not worry about, you know, who else comes into the country. And it's just a, it's just a principle. Like these, uh, that woman was saying on Facebook and on her, her post, she, you know, she said she misses her husband, she wants her husband because she's, you know, she's scared. And she's wife to be scared. It's very scary uh, all in that. It's very scary with everything happening. And she's right to be scared. She has the right to be scared. Um, and obviously the government are just being very ignorant and just saying, no, we won't let them come back. Um, but apparently they let other people come in and just ponder at any stage of the world. Um, it's just, the, like, I'm sure people get, and people say I'm being racist. You know, it's not being racist, it's just the truth. You bring your soldiers home first, then you can worry about whoever else wants to come in after that. And obviously during this pandemic, you can't just let everybody in and just be like, free country. Like, walk around, walk around, obviously. Um, you know, so many people are lying in the hospitals, you know, on ventilators, but we know what, there's money, there's loads of ventilators to go around, there's no ICU beds to go around, I uh, said nobody. Um, but it's just the principle, I'm sure people agree, you know, we, men, we meet their men and women here, um, in Ireland, um, obviously with their families, and obviously it's just so also here when we need them. Like, we need, we need the members of the Feds Forces now. Um, I know tons upon tons who have rejoined the Feds Forces for the next few, for the next the two long as it takes in tracing people, tracing contacts, and, you know, on the ground, helping the defence forces. Um, who, you know, loads of them who saw from left to the defence forces because of money. Um, and that's the thing. These men and women going over to Lebanon don't get to damn all. They really just get nothing. They might as well go and work in Tesco, full day in Tesco, because they get more for going to work in Tesco than they would for going out to Lebanon. And it's, it's a very sad. It's very sad that the government takes so little of an army that will treat them like that. Um, but I just would like to remind you, Frank, um, as the old saying goes back in the 1800s, you know, we always treat your army well. You treat your army well because they're the ones who protect you, and they'll be the ones who will solve you when everybody else turns against you. 
um, and they'll be the ones that'll be there beside you. But apparently, if every like just to say to the fact, the people are pissed, the army are pissed, everybody's pissed. Um, so yeah, pretty good job in keeping the army on your side if anything ever happens. You have a good job because the army won't stand against it with this government anyway. That's one thing for sure. Um, because the way he's treating like soldiers like this, this is a typical example of he's just re refusing to acknowledge that the defense forces exist, and you just want to just go off on your own ponders and just pretend that they don't exist. Um, and that these men deserve battle. Simple as that. And I'll take a watch and subscribe more and bye.